spirits with you on a Sunday night. A bit cooler back in Nottingham. I've just been on my exploits from Blackpool, although we're about an hour and a half late. Uh, I moved the car last night and got a puncture. Didn't know, thought it was alright. Got these one on flat tyres. And uh, hey ho, hour and a half, 75 quid. What, 73 quid? And uh, yeah, all good fun. Great weekend of ours. So this is from Lincoln Green Brewing Company. This is strawberries and cream. Only been available on draft before. before. Came into bottles at Thursday night. So literally two or three days ago. Um, possibly the first review on the internet. Although I, I don't really know about other people's reviews. Uh, this is 4%. It's a strawberry pale ale. It does say on the back, I will get my magnifying glass because I've just done three hours of driving, so a little bit tired. Um, this pale ale is brewed with milk lactose for an unmistakable creamy finish and strawberry essence. It tastes like liquid strawberries and cream sweets. Well, I absolutely love strawberries, so this is going to be interesting. Um, always fancied. I've done a strawberry stout using strawberry syrup and a normal stout. It tasted, it was okay. Big aroma of strawberries the minute you open the bottle. Massive aroma. Oh, I've never seen this. I've never been lucky enough to get to any of the Lincoln Green pubs while they've had it on. Uh, some of my own means and some of the fact that it's just gone out of, off sale quickly. You know. You only get so much in a cask, and like most pubs, they like to ro pubs rotate beers, gets customers in. You know, you can understand that. Right. Oh, yeah, unmistakable. And there we go. I love being back in the room, you know. So I've like been away, I've been away since Friday morning and uh, yeah, it's lovely to be back in the uh, in the good old room. So, golden pour, a little bit of carbonation on this, not much of a head to be fair. Big strawberries on the nose. Unmistakable smell of strawberries, let's dive straight in. A little bit of bite, there's a creaminess to it, and a definite taste of strawberries. Oh, I'm ready for a bit. Three hours of driving. They drive now not as on Britain's roads. You see so many bad drivers. But this is more beer review. When I'm doing a log or something that I've already reviewed before. Or a live review, I'll talk about uh, that sort of stuff. But anyway, so four percent hits the spot, and I, as you can see, I went on Friday before I went up to um, Blackpool. And actually bought a Lincoln Green t-shirt. Now the funny thing about green, Lincoln Green, is the colour that I've worn most of my life. I wore it at the City Council and I wore it at um, Rushcliffe Streetwise it was called. Uh, whether it's still going these days, who knows. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, this Lincoln Green is my all-time favourite colour. So might have to try and get um, something for work this colour, although I think work is blue, but I like green. You know, being a gardener, green gardening is what it is. So this resonates massively with me. 15 quid, this is a small that I'm wearing. And I normally wear a medium, or sometimes even a large. But obviously I've slimmed down since doing like 20 miles a day walking. And I do a lot of walking at work to be fair. A lot of mowing and uh, today and one days I'm not mowing, I'm still walking a lot. But um, yeah, so yeah, cracking bit of notes comes in green and black, and for fifteen quid, and it's um, it's a stitched on badge as well. So it's a green shirt, stitched on badge, so it's not going to fade too much in the wash, and it looks bang on. 
and great fun. I'm doing Lincoln Green Bay reviews, as you can see. Still get a nice strawberry on the palate. Um, so for me, this is more uh, what we'd call a traditional beer rather than a full in your face craft beer that's going to have you know, strawberry to the hilt. This is more, obviously, you just can't taste the strawberry. You can smell the strawberry. It's not in your face strawberry. It's a nice, more subtle strawberry rather than that. I'd love a, a plum version of this. Something a bit a Swedish plum, a bit more ABV. But that's just the raggy coming out because uh, I've got my own. I do homebrew myself, as you may may or may not have noticed over the time. And um, I'm hoping to um, yeah, I'm hoping to develop um you know do different beers and that so i forgot where i was going then put it down to tiredness did 40 12 hours on the theme park yesterday shattered tonight nice creaminess with this um bit of a bitter back end And to be fair, a nice little bit of bite on the front as well. So it's you, you get the elements that you, you require, obviously the strawberries and cream, but you do get a bit of bitterness and a bit of bite. So it's um, it's not just a full-on fruit beer, as it were. And I've got two of these for good, for good measure. I'm going to leave one to... Um, age a little bit um what he says <laughs> it's me all over and trying to age beers never happens yeah the only ones that I get aged in this beer room are the ones that i can't be bothered to drink for a year or two <clears throat> then i come around looking and thinking oh i haven't reviewed that yet i need to do a review um hopefully tonight i'll crack up on all, all my work so I'm off tomorrow, thank you for this, so that's good. Um, need days off. Need a day off just to recuperate from the weekend. It's all right going away for a few days, but you need that extra day just to have a lazy, dossy day in the house. Or probably for more, more for me is getting in the garden, doing the garden, sorting out the beer room, um, tagging all the beers I've bought this weekend, quite a few new beers, and... Uh, Getting everything nice and straight, ready for the work week ahead again. And I'm not off for a while now. Put some money back in the kitty, as you do. But obviously, it's nice to go away. It's been a good weekend. And I've been on some good rides. Although I have a few um, points of um, that I will be bringing up in another video. Probably a live rant video, but you know. So, <clears throat> big strawberry on the nose. Just the minute you crack open the bottle, strawberry. Uh, more of a golden pour with a subtle carbonation to this. You can get the lactose, which makes it creamy. You get strawberries all the way through, a little bit of bitterness on the front end, a little bit of ba ba a bite on, a subtle bite on the front end, bitterness on the back end. But a very nice drink, 4%. Yeah, it tastes like a 4%. And it goes down well. What more could you ask? Uh, would I drink it again? I'm going to be drinking it again. I hope to get it on draft one day, but um, for the moment, my uh, 
finance as of um, especially we're paying out 75 quid for a tire that we didn't really need to be paying out for uh, uh but it's kind of a me beer me beer finances have been battered so house and car and life comes first but uh, i've got a massive stockpile to go through anyway so my my pub exploits might have to calm down a bit uh, at least for the next month um but it is what it is so Strawberries and cream, that's what it says on the tin. Um, it's different, it's nice. Will it appease everyone? I don't know, you know, with every bit, everyone's got their own taste buds. Um, for me, I liked it, around about a four point, yeah, about a four point two out of five for me for this one. Um, I did love the strawberry element. Uh, this is what it says really, strawberries and cream. Um, we'll have to have one on another night, maybe straight from the fridge, just to see if there's any difference between room temperature and fridge temperature. There's always a temperature that fits the beer. So, that's the end of this review. Thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. And uh, if you can, please subscribe and join the fun. And uh, cheers all. See you later. Well, I would have turned it off properly.